My name is Wilson Felder. I am the director of the William J. Hughes Technical Center in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The Technical Center is our nation's principal laboratory complex for the research, development, test, and evaluation of air transportation systems. And today we are aboard one of the center's seven flying laboratories. These are aircraft that have been specially reconfigured to carry electronic equipment and to test that equipment to see how it works in the air and also how it interacts with the ground systems. This particular airplane is a Global 5000 business jet which we have stripped out and reconfigured with this electronic gear so that we can conduct tests. And today the airplane is being used to test our new automatic dependent surveillance broadcast system which is installed in these racks right here. Uh, but before I get into the details on the system, I'd like to tell you a little bit about how we track airplanes today. Today we have a network of radars across the United States, and those radars send out signals that are interrogation signals. They're uh, responded to by a device on the airplane called the transponder. When the transponder gets the radar signal, it sends information back to the ground that says who it is and how high it is. And then we, we use basic principles of geometry and arithmetic to figure out what direction that signal came from and the angle to confirm the distance. Now, as you can imagine, that's a pretty cumbersome system. It worked very well when radar was invented in the 1940s, but it gives us the position of that airplane to roughly within a, a mile and two miles, which is why we have three mile separation today throughout um, most of our airspace in the United States, three miles or greater. Now, what the ADS-B system uses is the information that the airplane has itself on its own position. It's using very sophisticated new uh, inertial navigation systems or GPS to know that. It will know its position to within a few hundred feet, much more accurate. In addition to that, it provides our information to us on the ground once every second instead of the, say, five to ten seconds that we get in terms of repetition from the radar signals. This allows us to track airplanes much more precisely, and we'll be able to use that uh, technique in the future to make the system even more safe than it is today and still carry much larger numbers of aircraft in the system. ADS-B is important for all the aircraft in the system, whether they are commercial airliners or small general aviation uh, airplanes. One of the reasons I'm really excited about this system is that I am a general aviation pilot in addition to my responsibilities here at the center. I have about 60 hours as, as a pilot in command of small general aviation aircrafts flying the very first version of ADS-B, and I can tell you it provides tremendous peace of mind to the pilot. Why? Because it gives the pilot information about where all the other airplanes are around the pilot's own airplane. So you can always see where everybody else is. Instead of having to think, uh, and get a mental picture from the controller telling you where the traffic is, you can simply look at the screen and say, oh yes, that's that airplane, it's right over here. Uh, the other thing that we get as general aviation pilots is we get weather provided. Uh, it's a basic form of weather, but it is fully sufficient for the pilot to be able to tell, for example, where the thunderstorms are and navigate between them. So it, it's exciting because it's one of the first times, to my knowledge, that the FAA has provided a capability first to general aviation and then later to commercial. We usually do it for the airlines first and then roll it out to general aviation in a trickle-down mode later on. This time, we're learning about the use of the system and providing a useful benefit to general aviation as we prepare to put the uh, commercial aviation system into, in, into place. One of the things we know about new technology is that the way in which it eventually gets used, once we learn about it more, is often quite different than the way that we envisioned using it when we first designed it. So with ADS-B, I can very clearly predict, however, that as far as a safety tool for general aviation, within the next five to 10 years, you will see it very commonly in use. Uh, we are in the process of deploying our, completing the deployment, really, of our nationwide network of ground stations. And as we have more and more ground stations, 
that will make it more and more attractive for general aviation pilots to spend the money to buy uh, the additional gear they need. Now, many general aviation pilots today already have a multifunction display in their cockpit. Most, or a lot, have a GPS receiver. The last piece of equipment they need to buy is the, the ADS-B transponder. The currently available model is called a GDL-90. It's the box that sends the signals from the airplane to the ground. It also receives the information up from the ground about traffic and weather. Uh, I think those are going to be very inexpensive as more and more people buy them and so general aviation pilots will be able to make use of that system within five or ten years. Well I haven't said anything yet about how we envision commercial aviation using the system. Uh, we are just at the beginning of that process. The, the uh, version that will be used by commercial aviation is slightly different. It operates on a slightly different frequency and the emphasis in the commercial aviation side is on getting the airplane's position down to the ground. So the first place we're going to try this out in any kind of broad scale is in the Gulf of Mexico where we have no radar coverage today. So today airplanes flying across the Gulf of Mexico have to follow procedural rules in oceanic airspace. They have to stay quite far apart. And at certain times of the year that makes it very inconvenient. Uh, with the ADSB equipment, we will be able to track them across the Gulf from one side to the other, and we'll be able to apply those radar separation rules instead of the uh, oceanic rules and get a lot more traffic there uh, and also increase the levels of safety. ADSB is one of the two critical foundational elements of the next generation system, along with the system wide information management concept which brings kind of an internet-like capability to shift data around the system. ADS-B provides that next level of precision and reliability and accuracy of the positional information, which allows us to do the really exciting things we need to do in order to make next generation a success.